Welcome to the Blueprint Channel. My name is Adam, and today I'm going to bring you part one of replicating a real town into Minecraft. In today's episode, we are going to cover how to obtain a topography map from any area in the world, accurately import this terrain into a program called World Painter, and then finally get an image overlay of the area you are replicating to overlay and guide your terrain. Now I'm going to give a little project background for about two minutes, so if you want to skip ahead, I'll leave timestamps in the description. I'll also leave all the links to the programs you'll need in the description. So replicating an area in Minecraft really depends on how large or diverse an area is. I thought this town would be perfect because of its mildly diverse terrain. As you can see, there's a lot of lakes around here, forests, you know, it's kind of hilly. Um, the fact that it's not a perfect grid so you can see, you know, some areas like up here are, you know, a little bit gritty, but this town as a whole is really diverse when it comes to its layout. And that makes it more interesting when you replicate it because you're not doing the same thing over and over again. And it makes for really nice renders as well. And then the last thing is that its architecture is pretty straightforward. If I go into street view here, um, you'll see that you know it's nothing too complex it's just some very nice storefronts um, you got some you know it's just very nice and I think this will make for a really good town replication so when you normally replicate a city or town you can sort of modify it to make it easier to build for example these like slanted roads over here you know right here this one and I guess like these these ones even here this is annoying because like you know this this little slant makes it all harder it would be really nice if it was just you know like straight um, and it's really important to do this if you plan on making interiors to make it a little bit easier for yourself now I guess it's more important if you're planning to do a build for the marketplace if you're doing something for the marketplace you really got to modify it so that it can be a straight block and you can have interiors because interiors just don't work sometimes in slanted buildings um, but I guess you can make them work it's possible and for this town since Saranac Lake seems to have a lot of different road angles like you see here it's straight but here it's slanted here it's straight again here it's slanted here it's like kind of slanted it's just kinda of weird and I think that rotating a certain part of this town is just not going to make it look good. It's going to mess up everything and it's going to make it actually more difficult to make and to replicate than if we just left everything as it is. So for this we're going to go for a full-on replication. We're just going to replicate everything that we see here. I'm thinking in this area. So the first part of this tutorial is we're going to head over to this website called terrain.party this is where we're going to get all of our topography from and what it does is it basically contains all of the topography you know height map grayscale image of the whole world's topography slash terrain whatever you want to call it and what it does is we can select a square area of the terrain that we want and we can put it into for example city skylines and for this example minecraft so I used to use a different um, you know program actually it was a website it was a US geological survey website and it had you know you could create polygons so it was, it was a lot easier than this a little bit more detailed but this is what we have now and it's still a really good resource um, for uh, replicating terrain so we're gonna take this I think we're gonna go about eight kilometers since that's the lowest we can go we don't want a really large area for this town since it's you know we're not gonna get into the terrain um, we'll do that a bit later so we're going to get this area right here, again about 8 kilometers, and we're going in a bit, we're going to export this right here, this cloud icon. We're going to export it, you can name whatever you want, I can name it, I'm naming it Saranac Lake. And so you're going to wait a little bit for this terrain to export, and as you can see I'm using a Mac, so it's going to look a little bit different for you Windows users. The um, the ones, there's going to be a bunch of images here. The one that says 10 meters, um, and you know, it varies um, based on location, which images you will get, but the ones that say 10 meters are usually one, the ones that you want because they're the most 
detailed ones that you're going to find there. So now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and open up World Painter. And when I was doing this originally, I actually messed up because I forgot that I was building in 1.5 to 1. 1 1.5 to 1 scale means that everything in Minecraft is 1.5 times bigger than it would be in real life. So what I have to do is I have to take the height map that I downloaded from Terrain.Party and I'm going to have to op uh, use a website. I'm just going to do it cheaply and quickly. I'm just going to use this website called, um, called um, Image Resizer or something like that. I originally was going to use Adobe Illustrator, but I really <laughs> didn't feel like doing that. So, yes, yeah, so we're going to open up the, um, the image resetter, and I'm going to select the image that I downloaded. Again, it was the 10 meter one. And we're going to, once we select it, um, I think I'm going to do dimensions. And the reason that I'm going to do 1200 by 1200 is because I want... I'm, I, if you remember, I selected an 8 kilometer by 8 kilometer area. So in Minecraft, I need to be that, I need it to be 12,000 by 12,000. And if you recall in World Painter, you can, um, you know, if you have a 1200 by 1200 pixel image, it's going to give you a 120 block by 120 block height map or um, World Painter world. So you're going to um, scale it up 999% in World Painter, which is the highest you can go, and I'll show you that in a second. So our terrain is going to be about 12,000 blocks, which is 1.5 times bigger than 8,000 blocks or 8 kilometers. So that's how this scaling works. If you didn't quite understand what I was just talking about, I'll leave a little bit of a you know smaller tutorial in the description. So hopefully you understand that. But the moral of the story is, since I build in a larger scale, 1.5 times as large as real life, I need a terrain that's 1.5 times as big as real life. So that's what I just did. Um, now we're going to go up, go over to import from height map, um, and here we are. Um, this is where you select your image. Um, oops, I accidentally. I accidentally named that. That's where you need to select your image. So we're going to go select the image um, and wait for that to load up. And we're going to change the scale to 999%. And you can see now it's 11,890 or whatever. So it's about 12,000. You can give yourself a little leeway. Um, it doesn't have to be perfectly that. Um, and then what I'm going to do now is change the water level just to make sure that it's not like, you know, that it's not all the way up there. I'm going to create my own water level um, based on the height map. So, and I'll get into that in another tutorial. All right. So the last part of this video for today is we're going to get a reference image over this exported area. So this worked out. Um, it looks pretty good. This is around where Saranac Lake would be. And to put this into perspective, um, this is about a thousand blocks. So a small town like Saranac Lake, in reality, or in Minecraft, is a very different story. It's actually a very large area. So the area that I selected, we're probably not even going to get, you know, like this far. We might only get up to here and then we might decide like, holy crap, this is a lot of stuff. But, um, for now, we're just going to work with it. So I'm going to change my map type really quickly so that the labels are now off. Um, and I'm going to take a screenshot of this area. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do this area right here. And yeah, like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that as the background image and this is going to take a little bit of um, of work to get you know get working but so let's um, where was a configure view I believe background image yep no image overlay um, and it's the one we we just took where are you recents right here and open, I believe it was this, yep, open that up. Um, 
and I'm not sure how, what this is gonna look like so let's zoom out and I see it in the top left corner oh my goodness okay so let's bring it to the right by a lot so let's go to configure view again and you're gonna have to play with this this is gonna be a little bit annoying but um, so image overlay you can scale it but right now we're gonna work on the offset so that's a so I'm gonna move it like 5,000 I meant 5,000 not 500 5,000 blocks that way why don't we do six just for fun and I'm gonna do the same thing because I believe that's around where it is um, so let's close this out for a second um, and then this needs to be scaled up by a lot it looks like so we're gonna have to go let's try let's try maybe like 300 um, not quite. Let, let me see how wide how how wide is this image? Um, nine hundred twenty nine. So okay. So we're gonna need to to ramp this up a bit. I'm just gonna get it so that it sort of fits with the with this path right here where the river goes. You can sort of see that path right there, and I'm gonna have to line it up like this. So let's go maybe five hundred. We're gonna have to move it um, like 5,500 or something. Let's even do, let's just do 5,000. Uh, oops, 5,000. And we're gonna move it, I think we're gonna move it back up to 5,000. And I'm gonna make this transparency a lot less. Uh, I mean, a lot more so that I can actually see my, I can see this river now pretty good. So let's now scale it 600. That actually looks pretty close. So let's start bringing this down. Oh man, I'm not gonna go that slow. That is not right. 4,000. 4,000, not 400, 4,000. Okay, it looks like it needs to be 3,500. Um, okay, a little bit more than that, or a little bit less than that. Let's bring it up. And I'm just gonna do this the slow way now for a little bit. Man, this is dreadful. Let's go 3,700. 3,750, I'm gonna try to get this exact. And as, as exact as I can, which is sometimes not that exact. Okay, 4,250. I mean, sorry, I meant 4,750. And look at that, I mean, that fits pretty well. Um, yeah, th that does fit pretty well. I think that that's workable as, as this. Let me, let me just, I just want to make sure that I'm not jumping to conclusions here. Um, I mean, yeah, this fits pretty well. I actually, like, I think, I think right here, you know, it, it could just be like a difference in the terrain though, because, you know, this is scaled this is scaled about perfect so I'm thinking that this is probably just you know since the the um, image that we scaled up was pretty large um, that probably happened but um, this is good this is this is a good area and I can actually just turn off the, turn on and turn off the overlay alright so that's it for this first tutorial the reason I showed you how to overlay the terrain is because in the next video we're going to actually adjust the terrain to be more accurate to real life and we have that reference image over the terrain to help us do that. And we're also going to annotate all the roads so that when we export the map into Minecraft the roads will be painted onto the ground. So we're going to essentially use the, um, the image overlay as sort of like a trace and we're going to trace over the roads with uh, an annotation tool which I'll show you in the next video. So I highly recommend becoming familiar with World Painter. It's a really useful program and I'll be using it frequently moving forward. So thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for part two in the next few days. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support us in the creation of cinematics, time lapses, showcases, and other useful tutorials from our Minecraft server. Our server IP, Discord, and other social media links are in the description. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day.